So if you guys look at number one, so you got the equation y equals 6x minus 11, and then the second equation, negative 2x minus 3y equals negative 7. So when you're looking for which equation is solved for your variable, you're, or you should be looking at this one. You've got y equals here. So if we have y equals 6x minus 11, we know that y is 6x minus 11. So you can substitute 6x minus 11 into that spot for y because it's what y equals. So wherever you're substituting, we're going to put parentheses just as if you were substituting a number. And then we're going to leave a big set of parentheses and uh, leave it blank for the moment. So we have negative 2x minus 3 instead of y parentheses equals negative 7. And then we are substituting 6x minus 11 in there. So now you have an equation with just x's in it. So that's the goal. So we just need to clean it up, simplify it, combine like terms, and solve for our first variable. So we're going to distribute the negative 3 because it's negative 3 times that. So negative 2x, negative 3 times 6, minus 18x. Negative 3 times negative 11, positive, so plus 33 equals negative 7. Combine our like terms. So we get negative 20x plus 33 equals negative 7. And we're just going to solve for that first variable. So if we've got negative 20x plus 33, we're going to subtract that 33 over. So negative 20x equals negative 40 divided by negative 20. So negative 40 divided by negative 20 gives you 2. So we've got our first variable. We've got the x value of our ordered pair. So we need to substitute or plug that value back in. And today you guys should be able to probably do this in your head. Um, you can substitute it into either equation, but the one that was solved for the variable is going to be the easiest. So if we're finding y, and we know that x is 2, y is going to equal 6 times 2 minus 11. So 6 times 2 is 12 minus 11 is 1. So you get that first variable and then you're about halfway done. You just have to substitute it back into one of your original equations to get the second variable. So if you guys look at number three, we've got 2x minus 3y equals negative 1 and then x equals y plus 1. So looking at your two equations, we have x equals this time. So we know that x equals or x is y plus 1. So just pay attention that you're substituting it in the right spot because this time we're going to put it in for x because we have what x equals last time. We had what y equals. So just pay attention because it changes each time that we're substituting it in the right location. So instead of 2x minus 3y, I'm going to do 2 parentheses minus 3y equals negative 1. And in that spot, we are putting y plus 1. And then we're just going to clean it up. So there should be your 2 in there. So 2 times y, 2y. Two, 2 times 1 plus 2 minus the 3y that's there. Combine your like terms. So 2 minus 3, negative 1. So 2 minus 1y equals negative 1. Trying to get the y by itself, so subtract that 2 over. Get negative 1y equals negative 3. Divide by negative 1. So you got your first variable. You need to plug that back in to get your second one. So x equals y plus 1. x is what we're finding. 
because we have y. x equals 3 plus 1, x is 4. I said today you guys can most likely probably do that in your head um, without having to write it out. But it's good practice. Let's look at number 8. So we've got y equals negative 7 minus 1x, and then 2x minus 8y equals 6. So we have y equals. y equals negative 7 minus 1x. We can put that in there for your y. So we've got 2x minus 8 times negative 7 minus x equals 6. We are substituting in negative 7 minus x. So I'm going to let you guys try to finish number 8. So if you want to pause it um, and give number 8 a try. I'm going to actually go over and look at number seven. The worst part of these, I think, is setting them up. Once you guys set them up, you guys know how to do the math of simplifying and solving. The setting up part is kind of the new piece or the harder part. So if we look at number seven, same thing, trying to find your equation. Do we have x equals or y equals? We have x equals. So we are substituting negative y plus 3 right in there for the x. So we have 3y plus x, so plus parentheses, equals 3. Negative y plus 3 is going in there. And we just got to clean it up. So pay attention. If you want to put a 1 there, that is fine, but we are not distributing the 3y. The 3 is not next to the parentheses the plus sign is or the plus one so we don't need to multiply anything here we just need to combine our terms so three minus one two y still have that plus three equals three clean it up solve for your y so minus your three over get two y equals zero that is fine divide by two Y is zero. Plug that in. X equals negative zero, which wasn't really a thing. So negative zero is just zero plus three. X equals three. All right, I'd like to do one more with you guys. So if we go up and look at number four yet. So we've got 6x plus 2 equals y and then negative 18x plus 3y equals 4. So we've got the y equals even though it's on the right instead of the left we still have y equals 6x plus 2. So we can substitute the 6x plus 2 in there for your y spot. So negative 18x plus 3 times your parentheses equals 4. Substitute 6x plus 2 in there. Clean it up. Distribute your 3. So negative 18x plus 18x. 3 times 2 plus 6 equals 4. So this is an odd one. Because when you guys go to combine your terms, you can, X's cancel. So you did nothing wrong. Just pay attention or assess kind of what you have left. So your X's are gone. No X's. That is fine. So when you get 6 equals 4 and you have no variable left, if you have a false statement... That is when you have no solution. Say you guys would have ended up with like 6 equals 6. 
then it would have been infinite solution. But you did not do anything wrong just because your variable disappeared. You just have to know what it means when that happens.